Hi everyone, welcome back. Those that are new, welcome. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. I do love, love, love you all. Today I'm looking into the case of the Swan Lake murders. Ashley Benefield claims that she was standing her ground in self-defense when she shot her husband Doug in September 2020. She claims that she was in an abusive marriage. He even tried to poison her while she was pregnant. So I would like to see what comes up. He was much older than her too. I believe that there was like over 20 years difference between them. So let's get started. Now keep in mind that this is a tarot reading and everybody is innocent until proven guilty in the court of law. It is all alleged. I would like to see the energies in regards to their marriage, if there was any violence or abuse in any way, or whether there, this was premeditated. Was it self-defence or premeditated? Okay, give me nine cards, please, spirit. So we're beginning with the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Three of Coins. Ashley Benefield, please, Spirit. Was her husband abusing her? Was this self-defense? Or premeditated, please? Three more cards, please, Spirit. I'm Ashley Benefield. Was this premeditated or self defense? Two more, please. Thank you. So we also have the Three of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Coins, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, well first up we've got the Guilty card. Worry, anguish, nightmares. Staying up at night. The Nine of Cups. She had everything that she wanted. She was given everything that she wanted. There was some sort of collaboration going on here with a third person. There was some quick action, fast action. Ha! 
haste, harsh decision that she's made. She was suffering from some delusions, but there was some dissipation here. She was looking at all options. An opportunity arose for something that she's been thinking long and hard about, done a lot of planning. She was very thorough and cautious. There may have been some obsessiveness going on in this marriage as well. A lot of burdens and struggles. So she was weighing up all her options on what to do. I will be clarifying with the Tarot of Dreams today. Give me clear messages, please, Spirit, in regards to Ashley Benefield. Give me more on the Nine of Swords, please. Why is this Nine of Swords here? Okay, we have the Four of Wands in reverse, the Fool, the Faith, and the Temperance card. Yeah, she wanted out of the marriage. I do believe that it must have been back and forth. There's back and forth kind of energy here. Whether they broke up, got back together, broke up, got back together. But at this time, she was at the house when it happened. She was wanting a new beginning. Wanting to move on. There was a blending of energies here. The temperance card, this also could symbolise health problems with her nightmares and worries. She may have been delusional. She may have actually believed that her husband was trying to hurt her in her own delusionals, in her own head. She was waiting for perfect timing for it all to come together. That's the marriage card, faith. Yeah, she was wanting to move on from her marriage. Why is this Nine of Cups here, please, Spirit?
We have the Eight of Coins and the King of Swords. He gave her everything that she wanted and she was planning against him. She saw him as the King of Swords. She believed that he was planning against her and plotting against her as well. There was a lot of delusions inside her head. He didn't see this coming though. He was trying to work on the marriage because it was his wish fulfillment, but she wanted to move on. He was deep in thought, trying to work out how to make the marriage work. And she was in her head just trying to work out how she was going to get away from him and move on, have a fresh start. What is this three coins, please, spirit? Now this is all about planning, three of coins. Give me more on the three of coins, please, spirit. We have the Three of Swords again and the Queen of Swords. There was a third party situation here, a third person involved in the situation. Somehow she was collaborating with somebody, a third person, and how she was going to cut him off out of her life and be able to move on. This third person could have been another woman. But she was definitely planning and plotting here on how to cut him off and move on with her life. Why is this three of swords here? Was she having an affair? There was betrayal. Oh, we have the devil and the hang ma hanging man on top of the three of swords. That's not good energy.
She was definitely wanting to let go, move on. But why is this third party coming up? There's a third party. Ignorance, hopelessness. Seeing a new perspective on things. Making a sacrifice, wanting to move on. Materialism. There could have been some sort of drugs involved here. But she was definitely betraying him. Wanting to move on, wanting to let go. She was in suspension at the time, in between. With very, she was very toxic. Her thoughts were very toxic. Very nasty thoughts are going on here. She didn't have good intentions at all. This third party. There was a toxic third party involved. Could have been getting into her head somehow. Give me more on the fast action. The Knight of Swords, please, Spirit. King of Cups, which obviously is the husband, and the Five of Swords fighting. A battle to the death. Fast action. Quick action. She didn't have any feelings left for him by the looks of it. And it seems as if she started a fight with him. And it all happened really quickly. So I believe that this is symbolising when the fight started with her husband. There definitely was a lot of 
fighting going on in the marriage. There's a lot of swords here. She was really on her guard. It's like she decided on what she was going to do. She wanted to move on. He wanted to work things out. But there was a third party, somebody getting into her ear about what to do and how to let go and how to move on. But this night, a fight started between them. And with some quick action, this is what's happened. A fight to the death. She decided that it was going to be a fight to the death, whatever was going on between them. She planned that this was the way that she was going to cut him out of her life forever. It was the only way. Give me more on the Seven of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups, the Magician and the Page of Cups. Self-love. Manipulation. Page of Cups, something fishy going on here. There could have been a child involved. I believe that there may have been a child involved. I think they were going through a custody battle, actually. Okay. So she was weighing up her options about this custody battle and she was trying to manipulate the situation on how he wasn't going to get custody at all of the child. She wanted the child all to herself. She may have been a narcissist. The magician's action, she decided to take action. She had conscious awareness. And she wanted the power over this child. Weighing up her options. It was an option. It looks like when the fight broke out, she saw this as an opportunity to do what she's been thinking about doing all along, what she's planned, to rid all the burdens. A fight to the death for this child. Cut him out completely from her life. Move on. Give me more on the Ace of Wands, please. She saw this fight as an opportunity. Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups. 
Ten of Cups, family. Eight of Cups, walking away, wanting more. A deeper meaning. Planning, strategizing. It definitely had to do with the child here. She was wanting to move on and take the child and for him not to be in their lives. Why is this Knight of Coins here, Spirit? This is the planning and strategizing and Page of Swords, Seven of Wands. More information, gathering information on how she was going to achieve her goal, how she was going to rid him from her and her child's life here. Being cautious, working out self-defence plan. Gathering up as much information as she could to try to work out how... She could make it a self-defence. This has been planned. This has been premeditated. It's like she's gone back to him the last time. He's wanted to work things out. And she was trying to work out a way of moving on from the marriage. Cutting him out of her and her child's life. Definitely a third party here. And we have the devil, yes, of course, the evil evil thoughts and she saw it as an opportunity as soon as the fight broke out that it was going to be a fight to the death she's taken on this custody battle as a fight to the death A lot of manipulation went on beforehand. He really believed that they were going to try to work things out here. He was in deep thought, wanting to work it out. She was his dream come true. Well, she was betraying him. In her mind, she knew exactly what she was going to do. She was just waiting for the right time, divine timing on how she was going to be able to get away with this, with self-defence. Page of Swords, you know, maybe if they check her emails, her Google searches, they may find some information in regards to her trying to work out how a self-defence claim works.
bottom of the deck we have death. Give me more on the Ten of Wands, please. Six of Cups depicts the child. We have the Four of Swords. Yep, laying to rest, putting her burdens down. Wanting to move on with the child. So she decided to lay him to rest. And get off on self-defence. So anyone I have confused here. I will recap. She had a lot of worry, she was up at night, having nightmares, wondering about how she was going to move on. From this marriage, he was truly in love with her, she was his dream come true. He was in the belief that they were really trying to work things out here. While well, she was betraying him behind his back, strategizing on how to cut him out. A third party was involved here. Evil energies. And this is also showing her in suspension, moving on, letting go, a reversal, trying to reverse the situation she was in, but in an evil way. It was definitely a fight that night. So she's taken quick action. And shot him, but it had to do with her weighing up options and manipulating a situation to do with the child. It just keeps saying she wanted to move on. She wanted to move on. She wanted to walk away. She took the opportunity, strategizing, being cautious, having all her plans in place. The information needed to be able to cry self-defense and standing her ground and laid him to rest. And it was for putting her burdens down, getting rid of, she saw him as a burden for her child. So she laid him to rest. She was struggling to have the power over her child, all the power. So this is what she decided to do. Options, weighing up her options, finding out more information about self-defence, planning, strategizing. I definitely do see here that it was premeditated.
I shall leave the reading there. Love and light.